look at the night sky in Grand Canyon National Park, I don't feel small. I don't feel insignificant. These are two phrases I often hear from people that ask, well, don't you feel tiny compared to the vastness of the universe? Instead, when I look up at the sky and I see the Milky Way stretching from rim to rim, I realize that in seeing that Milky Way, I see this, this vast structure, this vast collection of a hundred billion stars, of which my own star, my sun, is just one member. And it tells me that I am part of something vastly greater than just myself. So I know my place. I know where I am. And when we know where we are, in Grand Canyon National Park, or in the galaxy, or in the universe, we know that we are part of something vastly greater than ourselves. And we know how we fit in. And that makes me feel joy. It makes me feel like I understand. I have some small inkling of this universe of which I'm a part. After all, we are star stuff. We are the material made within the hearts of stars. That's how stars shine. We are the stars made manifest and sentient, able to look out and marvel at the universe around us. The farther away you are in space, the farther back in time we see. In a lot of ways, it's like what we see when we look down at the geology of the Grand Canyon. The farther down into the rocks you see, the farther back in time you look. At the very bottom of Grand Canyon, you're looking at rocks that formed over a billion years ago. And so the Grand Canyon is a time machine beneath you, while the night sky above is a time machine to the origins of the universe.